Attack on Titan, 10 characters who only made the world worse. Many Attack on Titan characters hoped to be the world savior, but some ended up only making things worse. There are a lot of characters throughout Attack on Titan who can be considered good or evil, depending on how fans interpret the characters. Some fans see the Survey Corps soldiers as the heroes since they were the main protagonists throughout the first 22 volumes of the manga. While others can understand the perspectives of Marley's warriors or the Yigarists. However, when looking at them from the world's perspective, it is much easier to see them as either a hero or a villain rather than a complex character with both good and bad qualities. At the end of the day, some characters impacted the world in a terrible way throughout the manga. 10. Without Emer Fritz, the Titans wouldn't have come into existence. Though Emer Fritz is a victim in her story, the terrible things that she went through resulted in the world being a terrible place for nearly everyone in the main series. When she was hunted down, she came into contact with the source of all living matter, which turned her into the first Titan to ever exist. With her powers, she was used to destroy Fritz's enemies and pass her powers down to their children. Even after she died, she created more Titans, which would go on to eat other people. None of the things that she caused were her fault, but if she never became a Titan in the first place, most of the other characters would have been better off. 9. Zeke Jaeger betrayed the Marleans the Eldians. A lot of the strongest Titan shifters fought for Marley throughout the majority of the series, with Zeke being the most powerful among them. When he went to parody, he killed most of the soldiers in the Survey Corps. He also fought in other wars that Marley would have lost if it weren't for him. However, he was never actually loyal to Marley or his Eldian comrades. He had ulterior motives behind all of the actions he took, secretly planning on inheriting the founding Titan so he could stop Eldians from reproducing. Though his intentions were good, he failed in this goal due to his faith in Aaron, his brother, who ended up using Zeke to start the rumbling and kill most of humanity. If Zeke hadn't cared for how Aaron felt, he could have achieved his goal. But he instead died knowing that he was the cause for the last thing he would have wanted to happen to the world. 8. Erwin Smith led his soldiers to their deaths to find a truth that led to a greater war. Erwin was the best commander the Survey Corps ever had, but only because he was willing to do terrible things in order to accomplish both his own personal goals and that of his soldiers. His main goal throughout the series was to learn the truth of the world he lived in and confirm the theory his father had, which led to his death. Erwin manipulated a lot of people, took reckless risks, and sacrificed many lives, including his own, to let those who came after him figure out the truth. And when the Eldians in parody learned that humanity lived outside of the walls and that they were their true enemies, things only got worse for them. 7. Grisha Jaeger failed his first son only to let his second become a mass murderer. Grisha was a terrible father to both Zeke and Aaron. When Marley decided to have Eldian children become warriors, Grisha did everything he could to get Zeke to inherit a titan, even though that's not what his son wanted. He neglected Zeke's needs, which resulted in his own son hating him. Years later, Grisha had a second son, Aaron. He had learned from his mistakes and didn't force Aaron to become something he wasn't. However, Aaron was exactly who he wanted Zeke to be. When Reiner, Annie, and Bertholdt broke into Shiganshina, Grisha knew it was finally time to take the founding titan, but refused to do so until a future version of Aaron commanded him to. This Aaron sent Grisha memories from the future, and despite the terrible things he knew would happen, did exactly what his second son wanted, indirectly killing thousands of innocent people. 6. Yelena was willing to do anything to have an important role in history. Yelena was a follower of the Jaeger brothers. When she met Zeke, she lied about her identity so she could form a close relationship with him. 
she also helped him get closer to Aaron while pretending to be a comrade to the Survey Corps. However, when Zeke and Aaron were preparing to come in contact with each other, Yelena betrayed the Survey Corps. She was then forced to help them and the warrior unit, which had investigated her background and learned that all she actually cared about was having an important role in history. It didn't matter to her what that role was, so she was willing to let the majority of the human race die in order to be remembered forever. 5. Karl Fritz was willing to let the people he was supposed to protect die. Throughout the centuries since the Eldians gained the power of the Titans, the royal family treated other races terribly. Torturing them and forcing them to have their children. Even though this was horrific to most of the world, the Eldians during that time thought it was acceptable. However, Karl Fritz didn't see it this way. Once he became king, he betrayed his people. He brought some of them to parody and removed their memories, while he left others behind, to be abused by the other races, especially the Marlians. Though his intentions were good for the other races, it only led to his own race being discriminated against, with most of the people who were abused not being anything like their ancestors. It also eventually led to more death as some Eldians retaliated against the world, which never would have happened if Karl had found a different way to achieve his goal. 4. Gross was a sadistic Marlian officer who murdered a child. When he was a child, Grisha had a younger sister named Faye. The two of them lived in Marley and were treated awfully for being Eldians. One day, he decided to go to an area he wasn't supposed to with her, and the two of them were caught by a couple of Marlian officers. One of them, Gross, told Grisha that he would bring Faye home. While Aaron Kruger, the other officer, punished him. However, Gross actually fed her to his dogs. Not only was it despicable that he murdered an innocent child, but he had even enjoyed it. Along with all of the other Eldians he either killed or injected with Titan serum over the years. It's no wonder his name is Gross. 3. Rod Rice was a terrible king, father, Titan. Karl Fritz may have been an awful ruler for the Eldians, but at least he had good intentions, while his descendant, Rod Rice, was a terrible person who only cared about himself. He never did anything good for the Eldians and tried to manipulate those around him. The best example of this is when he tried to turn his daughter, Historia, into the founding titan after he never did anything to help her for the majority of her life. Once she refused, he became desperate to turn a rice into a titan and drank titan serum himself. Transforming him into one of the most dangerous titans in the entire series. He tried to attack his own people, only to be killed by Historia, who became a better ruler within two months than he ever was. 2. Fritz led the Eldians to torture his enemies. The worst Eldian king to ever live was Fritz. He was a dictator who would kill people simply for making mistakes, as seen from when he hunted Emer Fritz down for letting a pig escape. However, once she transformed, he forced her to do whatever he wanted, killing all of his enemies and becoming the most powerful man in the world. When Emer Fritz sacrificed herself to save him, he had their three daughters eat their bodies and told them to reproduce and have their children eat them when they died so the titans would live on forever. If it weren't for him, the discrimination between races never would have started, and the world would have been a much more peaceful place. 1. Aaron Yeager killed the majority of the human race. Though he was originally the main protagonist in the series, Aaron eventually became the final villain. He was able to see a future in which he started the rumbling and killed people all around the world. He manipulated a lot of people, including his own friends and family so he could follow the path that was laid out for him, while also forming a group of Eldians in parody who believed he was their only savior. Once he was finally able to use the founding titan, he had the colossal titans inside of the walls crush thousands of innocent people, which led the Survey Corps and Warrior Unit to fight him. 
free emer fritz from the coordinate and defeat the titans.